Well, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Doug, and I'm here to tell you about a really cool chip technology that uh, I discovered, and uh, it's called a Field Programmable Analog Array, FPAA, which you can get more information about at okikatechnologies.com. That's O-K-I-K-A technologies.com. And basically what an FPGA is, um, or FPAA is, it's very similar to an FPGA, which is a digital array of logic gates that can be configured. An FPAA is an analog array of analog components that can be configured and reconfigured on the fly. So what I've got set up here just as a demonstration to give you an idea for what you can do with an FPAA is I got really curious about wanting to build an ultrasound system. So here I've got a Raspberry Pi. This is a 4, Pi 4. Um, and here's a, a evaluation board that's, um, that you can buy from Okika Technologies. You can see the logo there. And the chip is the little little chip right there in the middle. It's a single chip. And that is connected to the Raspberry Pi through a SPI interface, a serial peripheral interface, um, two signal wires, and then plus a another signal to generate um, a few control pulses that go to the ultrasound system. And then it looks kind of like a mess right here, but each of these... Um, uh, devices as a pair of ultrasound transmit and receive transducers and I've just got them taped together and they are connected directly um, directly into the FPAA device with no you know no amplifiers or anything in between it and I've got six of them here so I'm back out you can see uh, I'm sorry five of them uh, and they're all under the control of the Raspberry Pi. So then, to demonstrate this, I decided to develop a little app, uh, which I, I can run here for you. And just give you a little uh, idea of what you can do with a FPAA. So this app um, starts out, it opens the main window and I'll just zoom in on that a bit. So you can see the main window has a block diagram of the configuration I'm setting up in the FPAA chip under software control. And then it has some um, settings that you can adjust here. So each of these elements on the chip are adjustable. So there's an amplifier with adjustable gain and then three filters, all with adjustable gains and center frequencies. And then a DAC to generate a signal to put into a comparator that acts like the slicer when it's receiving a signal back. And then multiplexers to multiplex the five transducers on chip and, and demultiplex five transducers um, for the transmit side. And then there's a block here is set up to be a synthesis block that synthesizes the ultrasound signal uh, with the little gain stage after that. And so I've got it running now and I'm just going to drag some of these windows around so you can see them better. But each window correlates to one of the um, one of the transducer pairs. And you can see the channels are actually labeled. I'm not going to put them in order. I just want to put them up here so you can see them all. E4, five of them. Oops, I lost one. Where'd they go? Oh, I have to resize it, I guess. There we go. So there's five transducers. And so right now, each transducer, um, the FPAA is transmitting a pulse out um, into the transducer, and it travels through the air and then bounces off of any objects that are in its path, and then the return signal is the echo. And then what, um, what this scale is showing is from, uh, from zero feet, or I'm uh, sorry, zero meters to five meters. 
and then each one of these black marks is uh, an object that is in the return path or in the path of the signal going out. And so you can see if I take one of these transducers and point it, let's say, up to the ceiling, um, then you can see that the fourth one down from the top is now pointing to the ceiling. And if I move it and face it towards the monitor, or I can face it towards the wall that's about three meters away. Um, and if I want to get further range, I can just adjust the gains on the settings from, you know, from the window. It's very simple to go adjust gain values and, um, and threshold numbers. So you can, uh, depending on how weak the signals are that you're trying to look at. So that's that I'm going to, um, keep working on this and start posting, uh, aspects of the design so that you can see how to put something together like this. Um, the software is a combination of uh, Python that generates, that I used to generate the GUI and to control um, uh, through the serial port to control from the Raspberry Pi um, over to the FPAA chip and then to process the um, echo signal, calculate the range, you know, how far away that object is and, uh, and then display the object on these charts. One nice thing about this, um, this system is uh, many rangefinders only show the first object that it sees. Well, this system will show you every object it sees a reflection from. Uh, so I can face this towards an area where there's a lot of wires and you can see the individual wires coming up on that bottom display there and move over and look at something further away. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the system. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can go to okikatechnologies.com and um, get more information about the FPAA and about the development kit. Uh, pick one up, hook it up to a Raspberry Pi and start doing your own applications. You can use the FPAA for many, many different kinds of applications and it allows you to very quickly prototype analog circuits. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.